Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm an executive job search and leadership coach, as well as the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And one of my coaching clients was on an interview this, this past week and was asked this fabulous question. I'll explain why I like it a lot. And the question is, who are your enemies? Now, I coach executive job hunters. So along the way, you do have to butt heads with people. After all, it's not all kumbaya professionally, right? There are people that you have disagreements with. And what a firm is looking for is the story and the texture behind it. I'm not going to go into this person's story. I think he made a small mistake, and I'll just explain how to answer the question best. See, when he answered it, he talked about something in fairly recent times without contextualizing it. Uh, well, actually, let me restate that. He, he, he talked about something that was 10 years past without really stating that it was 10 years past. It's not a problem that he had the disagreement, but to me, he could have done a, just a touch better had he said, you know, 10 years ago, I was far less experienced than I am now. I was in a situ situation where I, and he then goes on to the rest of his story. Uh, you know, in this particular case, it might be, you know, we had a, a COO who was eavesdropping on the phone calls, reading people's emails, and it was problematic. And, you know, ultimately, there was a reason why he was doing it, but he didn't really explain it, yada, yada, yada. But the miss here was not talking about something that was 10 years past and, and say, you know, I, I did this at a time where I was less experienced. And then talking about the mistake that he made and how we created an enemy out of this situation. Now, the person who was interviewing him, which, and again, this is only going to be asked of a senior individual, the person who was interviewing him knew the firm, knew the board members involved at the firm, and it was important that this question get opened up because he would have found out about it anyway. And that's the reality of senior professionals. You know, it doesn't matter where in the country you are, doesn't matter, uh, you know, where, well, well, I'll just simply say it doesn't matter where in the country you are or what industry that you're in. There are people who know people, and there's a way of checking out the authenticity or the accuracy of your story. Part of your role as an executive uh, in an organization is having the self-awareness to admit that you make mistakes and talk about what you learn from them. No one expects perfection. Uh, and had you said, you know, I don't think I've ever made an enemy in my career. You would signal to them that you're an idiot. So you got to open up about this stuff, but you have to put it in a context of talking about something from years past. Because frankly, that's where most of us make our mistakes, right? You know, we make more mistakes when we're junior, or more critical mistakes when we're less experienced than we do now that we're senior professionals. So. That's the way to do it. You contextualize it by talking about something that you did many years ago. And you say, you know, 10 years ago, when I was much less experienced than I am now, I, this is what happened. Today, I would approach that differently. And then you talk about how you might have handled it now. I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this helpful. And I hope you join me at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com or if you're an executive job hunter, email me at JeffAlpin at TheBigGameHunter.us. I'd love to coach you. In the subject line, put the phrase coaching or the word coaching, I should say. And I'll get back in touch and we'll speak, figure out a time to speak. Have a great day. Take care.